Looks like I got more Wish stuff. This time I went a little crazier than normal and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packages. So I have a wide variety of items here. I've got some rulers, I've got some stencils, I've got some pencils, and we're going to try everything out and then we're going to make some art with it. So the first item I got is this pencil, and it's not any ordinary pencil, it's a rainbow pencil. As it's sharpening, it kind of just turns into, like, the pencil shavings just kind of turn into a million little pieces. That looks pretty neat. Um, I don't know if the lead is thicker than a normal pencil, it kind of seems like it. So this is the second item I got off Wish. Sketchbook thingy. More like just like a little notebook, post-it note kind of quality of paper here. The front of it kind of has this little face that says, show you smile. I just love that. I love English, it's so funny. So yeah, the inside of the pages has a bunch of different colors, most of it's white. So next I got one of these little um, bendy rulers, flexible rulers. These are super popular when I was in middle school. Um, yeah, it's just like a cute flexible ruler. I saw this pencil and I thought it was just so super cute. It's this um, light blue. It says easy come, easy go on it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But it's um, a two millimeter 2B pencil, which is interesting. I've never had like a mechanical pencil like that. So the next thing I have is this um, Pilot Color Eno. It's colorful lead. Let's try drawing a mushroom dude. Okay, so the lead definitely feels like kind of waxy, extra waxy, maybe like, oh, <sighs> broke again. Okay, this lead is, it's extra soft, so don't push too hard, but it it's kind of makes you push on it, if that makes any sense. It's kind of difficult to get the color down. I like it. I like it. It's nice having some, some variation with my drawings. Next up we have these super cute pastel translucent erasers and they are just so pretty I needed to get them. It feels more gummy than like a, a white plastic eraser. I saw this washi tape and it's pretty cool. I guess it you stick it together to make a flower. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm not the best at this, but you get the idea. I think that that's super neat, and I like that a lot. You can make some really cool, interesting art with this. Next up, I've got these really interesting stencils. I wanted to get some stencils for my, my Ohuhu airbrush tool. If you haven't seen my video about that, I'll put a clickable link up here. You can click on it after the video's done, and you can check that out. It's super cool stuff. But yeah, I think that these would work awesomely with something like that. So I bought a bunch of these. This is another sort of tool like, kind of like a stencil tool that I got. I've just been looking to add tools to like make designs and geometric shapes and stuff on into like my sketchbooks and things like that. Okay, so this is called a French curve and these are typically used for sewing. It can be used in art and um, architecture, things like that. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to use one of these, but I've always been interested in them. So maybe I'll try making some curves in my drawing. And the last tool that I got, this is, it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. So you know when you use pencils up and they're about that big and it's so difficult to use them. Well, this is a pencil extender unscrew it. Just need to keep tightening it. Um, yeah, either way, I don't know. I can only get this side to work. But let's just see, let's just see how, how it does. Yeah, I don't know. It's just strange. This is such a heavy tool. Yeah, it's just, I could see my hand getting way more tired using this just because of how heavy it is. Yeah, I don't think I could be using this for longer than like 10 minutes. It would make my hand a lot more tired. And now to use some of these supplies to make some art. 
For this drawing, I decided I wanted to incorporate the flower washi tape as petals blowing in the wind, so I decided to draw a semi-realistic portrait. I used the blue pencil lead to do the majority of the sketch, and I really liked sketching in a color, but the lead kept breaking very easily, and so I ended up having to use way more of it than I should have. It just kept breaking off in chunks, and so I went through probably like a stick and a half for this drawing, and um, that was pretty unfortunate. But to add some shading, um, I used the 2mm pencil, and I really like this pencil. It's super comfortable to hold. It's handy that there's a lead sharpener on the back. You can get some nice light shading because it, um, it's similar to the way a traditional pencil is. You have the point and then you have like the side that you can shade with. It's really nice. I like it a lot. To erase, I used one of those pretty erasers and it managed to erase like a normal eraser. It didn't leave any color or anything. It was, it was a good one. I like it. Um, for the background, I used one of the stencils that I picked up. It has a bunch of little stars and so I added some stars to the background and some to the foreground and then I added some on her face, like little freckles. And to wrap everything up, I tried using those washi tape flower petals and I honestly struggled making the composition look alright with all of the petals. I think I managed to do an okay job. Um, but I still feel like something might be slightly off, but oh well. I definitely want to use these washi tape flowers again in the future, and I think I might be getting some different ones because they have a bunch of different designs. By the way, um, I'm not sponsored by Wish or any of these companies selling these products, but if you want to pick any of them up, I'll have links in the description. Yeah, cool. So that's my final creation. Um, I'm happy with how it turned out. I think she's pretty and... I haven't done like semi-realism kind of portraiture like this in a while, so it's nice to do something different. Um, if you liked this video, you can give me a like. That would be pretty sweet. Um, yeah, and subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. Um, I just want to thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!